Welcome, Ben Mama. Hello everybody, Kieran A.K. The Laird here and uh, I'm here sat out in my garden on a lovely uh, sunny summer's day because I've just come back from um, a little holiday and uh, I'm still kind of in the holiday mood so I thought it'd be nice to come out and sit in my garden to film um, rather than doing it in my office um, like usual. And uh, yeah, this is just a short intro to this week's uh, midweek video and um, this is actually a follow-up of sorts from the third video in a series, really, because those who follow my channel regularly, I've got a visitor, so um, let's, get, let's get a cat in the shot as well. Um, those of you who um, watch my channel regularly will remember um, a video I did, what was it, two years ago now, actually, um, that uh, I looked around um, a modern seaside arcade in uh, Clacton-on-Sea in Essex, and I went down the pier and I showed you what machines they had, obviously mainly penny pushers and fruit machines and stuff. There wasn't that many like proper arcade games, but there was a few interesting things there. And um, yeah, you may remember that that video. Um, and um, that was actually a follow up to a video I did looking around um, an arcade that's very, very close to me where I live, uh, that had just reopened in a big uh, cinema complex. And uh, yeah, I'll link those two videos uh, down in the description if you're interested in seeing those because uh, they're still quite relevant to this video. But yeah, this time around I was on um, holiday somewhere a bit different, but actually just further up the coast um, from Clacton where I looked at last time. I was um, in a place called Walton on the Nays, a very pretty little traditional um, Victorian seaside town um, in Essex. Um, lovely part of the country, lovely big golden sandy beaches i'll put some footage of the beach actually on the on the video so you can see how lovely it is there because i hardly recommend it as a place to visit um just in general not just because the arcades or anything as you'll see because they, they were pretty good actually um but it's just a lovely lovely town loads of great places to eat lots to see and do around the around that area but yeah uh so yeah there was there's actually two arcades in the town there's one small one um on the coastal road along the front and there's a massive one on the pier which is what you'll see in this video the other one's complete rubbish and only actually had one arcade prop like proper arcade game and that was aimed at kids it was like a kid's um uh you know where you shoot the water at the screen one of those ones um the one on the pier had a real mix of stuff and actually um i was quite surprised by some of the stuff i saw there you'll see some of it in the video but they also had a lot of machines that weren't working and um, while I was there, I actually saw one of them being worked on. And I went up and spoke to the guy doing it um, to ask him if all the others were being fixed. And uh, he said they were. He said they were in the process of repairing all their machines. Um, and they should all be up and running by next week. But unfortunately, I've already come home. So I never got to see all those machines up and running. They only had one of them working by the time I left. Um, I guess it was a long process to get them all but some of the ones that weren't working, you, you'll see one of them in the video at least, which is a, the massive Outrun 2 that has the real cars that you sit in, um, which I was gutted about because I really wanted to play that. And actually I went on holiday to Walton um, many, many years ago, probably about five or six years ago. And when I went there then, I remember playing on that and I remember it was working, so I've got photos of me playing it. So they've obviously had that one for quite a while, but I was gutted that wasn't there because I love that game and it would have been really cool to have played it. Um, yeah, but some of the other ones they didn't have that they had sort of shoved in a corner that weren't working. They had Big Buck Hunter, they had Terminator Salvation. Um, I'm trying to think what the other ones were that they had that weren't working. Um, uh, a Fast and Furious. Um, yeah, there was quite a few. Uh, I can't remember all of them now, um, but there was about five or six that they say that, that needed needed repairing. Um, to get them in a workable state. Actually, they also also had um, a few kind of like old, um, kind of like electromechanical machines as well. Like one of those ones you hold on and it electrocutes you and you have to let go of it. It wasn't working as well. So there was quite a few machines that weren't working. But hopefully if you see this and you go down yourself, then, then they'll have a load of those working by the time you get there. Uh, 
but yeah, that's it really. Um, there was lots of other great games to play on, and actually, um, my wife um, helped me film a lot of the footage um, you're about to see. I'm very grateful to her for that, and in that includes actually some footage of me playing some of the games on offer, um, including some pinball, because I was very surprised to see that they had pinball machines, which is something I haven't seen really in most of the other seaside arcades I've visited. The only one exception I can think of is South End on Sea, which actually has a couple of retro themed arcades. So they do have pinballs there. But um, uh, I, you know, I used to have a video looking at that as well, but the video got corrupted and um, I, wasn't, I wasn't able to re-upload it to, to, to the new channel. But hopefully I'll visit there one day and get some more footage of that arcade because it's well worth seeing. But uh, anyway, um, I digress. I'll leave you with the footage because I've waffled on long enough. And I hope you enjoy a look around uh, the main pier arcade in uh, Walton on the Nays in Essex. Uh, let me know what you think of it and um, if you'd like to visit. So from me and uh, Bertie, my oldest cat, who wants to be in the video. Um, we'll see you all soon. Um, enjoy, the, enjoy the rest of the video.